Today I wanted to talk about reading a chest x-ray. There's a simple method that I use for reading a chest x-ray. It's the A, B, C, D, E mnemonic. A is for airway, B is for bones, C is for cardiac, D is for diaphragm, and E is for everything else. So let's take a look at an example. This chest x-ray shows that the airway, or the trachea, is deviated laterally, and there's some haziness or congestion in the lung fields. Next, let's take a look at the bones. It looks like the clavicles are asymmetrical, meaning that the patient might be tilted. Also, the joint space from left shoulder to right shoulder is a little narrower on the right side, meaning that there might be some osteoarthritic changes in the right shoulder joint, but it might be again that the patient is tilted. Looking at the ribs, you can see that the ribs are smooth and there isn't any costochondral joint inflammation. Looking next at the heart, the C is the cardiac part of the mnemonic. You're trying to look for a smooth cardiac silhouette. Typically, the heart is pointing to the left side of the chest, but in this case, the heart is pointing to the right side of the chest. This is what makes this x-ray interesting. Additionally, when looking at this chest x-ray, you may see that the heart is more than half the width of the lung fields. When this occurs, you might be thinking of congestive heart failure, and this might explain why there's so much congestion in the lung fields. The next part of the mnemonic is the diaphragm. And looking at the diaphragm, you can see that it's smooth on the left side with a nice costophrenic angle, but on the right side, the costophrenic angle is not present. It could be that there's a pleural effusion going on. The final part of the mnemonic is everything else. So you can look for perihilar lymphadenopathy. You can look for air in the soft tissues, you can look at the chest lead placement, and you can look for foreign bodies. Looking at the CT scan of this patient, you want to imagine yourself standing at the patient's feet and then looking up towards their head. You can see that on the right side of the chest wall is the heart, and this is not normal. Another view confirms that the heart is on the right side of the chest, so we would call that dextrocardia. It occurs in about 1 in 12,000 people can be associated with situs inversus. In this condition, all major organs are a mirror image. Situs inversus is associated with Cartagener syndrome. Cartagener syndrome is associated with bronchiectasis and infertility because of ciliary dyskinesia, where the cilia aren't beating in the proper fashion. Looking further down on the CT scan of this patient in the above case, the liver is on the right side of the abdomen, and the spleen is on the left side of the abdomen, meaning that this is likely dextrocardia and not situs inversus. Thank you for watching.